Now that I've successfully changed the overall font of the document, I'm going to make some changes that are specific to the H2s. So I have two H2 tags. I have one for ingredients and one for directions. And in order to style both of them at the same time, the only thing I have to type up here is H2. So I'll type that. And then I'd like to make them green. So I'm going to set the color of green. You can see here that there's lots of different named colors. You've also seen in the videos that you can use um, RGB values, so three numbers for RGB. Um, you can also, that RGB um, also includes transparency, which we'll look at later in the semester. You can also use a hexadecimal color, so there's lots of different options. But I'm going to stick with just a named color for now. So this says, style all H2's tags that you find, make them the color green. Save, and let's see how it looks if I refresh. Here, yeah. beautiful. Now, say for instance, that, um, for example, that I wanted to do something um, really special to just one of these items. Well, <clears throat> there is no way right now with just a simple tag selector to select, say, just the ingredients or just the directions. And we'll work with this more in another week, but I'm gonna give you a preview right now because this is something that everybody always wonders. So in order to differentiate between this H2 and that H2, you have to give them a, a, some kind of something different. And we've seen in the links week where you could ID something and jump to it. So this is the same ID that we've seen there. We're just not going to use it to make a link. So I might say, say something like ingreed. This word is not special. It just doesn't have any spaces in it. It's just a word that I chose. If I want to say that I specifically want to study uh, to, um, to style the ingreed, I can do it this way using a pound sign. So this is a different, completely different kind of selector than this one. This one I'm talking, talking specifically about an ID and I know I am because of this pound sign. So CSS has this built into it so that it knows that if you see us, this pound sign, also called a hashtag, it will go down into the document and look for something that where this ID matches this ID. <clears throat> Here's um, an example. I'm just going to override and make this one red. I'm going to take this away afterwards, but this is just to show you what's possible. So if I refresh here, then the one that's more specific <clears throat> turns red. If this were not a color change, but something else like, um, we'll say, take the boldness off of it, then in greed is still going to be green because it still gets to use the h2 rule but then it also gets its own rule specific to it like so so a little bit of a preview um, we'll continue on in the next video with um, more text styles for bold and italics